Welcome to the Cupertino City Council special meeting. Today is Thursday, December 14th, 2023. If you are able, please stand. Oh, no pledge of allegiance, right? Yes. Oh, we do. Here we do have the pledge Please stand the for the pledge of allegiance. Thank you. Please be seated. Madam City Clerk, roll call, please. Council Member Chow. Here. Oh. Here. Council Member Fruin. Here. Council Member Moore. Here. Vice Mayor Mohan. Here. Mayor Wei. Here. Thank you, Madam City Clerk. We are going to item number one, election of mayor and vice mayor. Um, if my council members agree, I'd like to open up a public comments first. If that's okay with everyone. Madam City Clerk, how many cards do we have? Yes, Mayor, I have 19 speaker cards. So with 19 speaker cards, I like to limit everybody to speak to two minutes. I hope that's good enough. And if you have a combination, uh, we'll give everybody one minute. If you have five people, we get five minutes. So uh, that's uh, sort of a temporary rule. Is that good with City Attorney? So it's at your discretion, Mayor, but yeah, just to, just to clarify, so, so it's two minutes if you'd like to consolidate time uh, with uh, five people can get up to five minutes. Okay, thank you. So please proceed, thank you. Okay, so our first three speakers are Dr. Clifton Derbing, Claudio Bono, and Jean Bedord. Dr. Derbing, welcome. Hi, thank you very much. Hi, Cupertino City Council. I hope you're all doing well. Happy holidays. I just wanted to say congratulations to Mayor Hung Wei for all that you've done for the city. I think you've attended about 98% of the Cupertino City events, so you are everywhere and you're everything, and I am honored to have you as a mayor for our city. I think it's something that you represent the city even beyond Cupertino. You've made great relationships with other cities by participating in their events, and I can't be more amazed at what you do and then some as a superhero, so thank you. I also want to thank the council for everything that they have done together as a team in collaboration and to lead the city through to be more equitable, peaceful, and following by the laws. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next we have Claudio Bono, followed by Jean Bedord, followed by Donna Austin. Welcome, Claudio. Good evening, Mayor Wei, Vice Mayor Mohan, City Council members, uh, City Attorney Jensen, Pamela Wu. Uh, city Manager and staff. Claudio Bono here, Cupertino resident, and tonight I will only speak on my behalf. I wanted to say thank you, Mayor Wei, for your leadership. You demonstrated that you are indeed honorable. On behalf of at least over 6,500 Cupertino voters, thank you uh, for closing meetings earlier, something that many used to say that it would be impossible, but I actually love how history shows otherwise. So to whoever will be the mayor tonight and vice mayor, Know that as a citizen of Cupertino and a Cupertino activist, and I love my city, you have my full support. Anyone tonight who is negative against the new council elect, it is safe to say that they are coming here tonight, probably driven by political aspiration and some still thinks that leading with fear and negativity will work. After all, next year will be an election year. But know this, I respect you all. Uh, we are facing many difficulties in our city. Uh, and uh, I'm thankful that you are on this council taking care of important issues. So, and as usual, I just wanted to say congratulations to whoever will be the mayor and the vice mayor tonight. Hopefully ones who are skilled, respectful, and have expertise, but you can count on many of us to give you strength and support. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Jean Bedord, followed by Donna Austin, followed by Kathy Stakey. Welcome, Jean. Good evening, council and staff. My name is Jean Bedord and I'm a Cupertino resident. I've been attending city council meetings and speaking before council for over five years and reporting to the community through my newsletter, Cupertino Matters. <clears throat> I am here to support the election of Sheila Mohan as the next mayor and J.R. Fruin as the next vice mayor. The city faces major challenges this year and both council members are uniquely qualified to provide leadership. Sheila is currently vice mayor and well recognized for her competence in both the city and county levels. She was a senior finance director before retiring from Santa Clara County. JR grew up and still has family in Cupertino. 
JR brings a legal and retail operations perspective to council, both of which will be needed in the upcoming year. He's been deeply engaged with local housing advocates as well as our state representatives in Sacramento. With regard to the other council members, frankly, they're an embarrassment. Council member Kitty Moore filed a suit, lawsuit against the city over Valco in 2018 and lost. So we lost the community benefits. Recently, she was specifically named in 2022 grand jury report and subsequent fact-finding report for violations of the city municipal code. In recent months, she has walked off the dais and abstained from voting on agenda items. She's not doing the job an elected official should be doing. Council member Liang Chao has been vice mayor three times. She's been quite controversial. The city had to pay a fine to the city's association for harassment of the executive director when representing Cupertino. The city doesn't need more embarrassment. I urge you to elect Sheila Mohan as Thank mayor you. and J.R. Fruin as vice mayor. And next we have Donna Austin, followed by Kathy Stakey, followed by Glenn Fischler. Welcome, Donna. Hi there. I want to thank Hung Wei for her outstanding leadership role as mayor for 22-23. She made our city a better place. Thank you. I look forward to Sheila Mohan's nomination for mayor. Her core values of honesty, integrity, her excellent communication skills makes her a real leader in our city. And I urge you to nominate J.R. Fruin for vice mayor. He's knowledgeable. He does his homework. He attends all the meetings, and he's fair and supportive on the city council. He's extremely competent in his, um, his knowledge of law. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Kathy Stakey, followed by Glenn Fischler, followed by Neil Pat Park McClinton. Thank you. Good evening. I want to begin by thanking Mayor Hong Wei for her competent leadership this past year. Thank you, thank you very much, Hung. And I have been extremely proud of Sheila Mohan's performance as our vice mayor this past year. I strongly recommend Sheila to the position of mayor. She will act in a competent manner to guiding our city into the future. And of course, a nice support character would be J.R. Fruin as the vice mayor, also very competent. And I also want to say thank you to the city attorney and our city manager for their great performance throughout the year. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Glenn Fischler, followed by Neil Park McClintic, followed by Hima Kundargi. Welcome, Glenn. Thank you. Glenn Fischler, representing myself, longtime Cupertino resident. First, uh, I want to just thank you, Mayor Way, for your leadership uh, as our mayor during the past year. Attended most of the meetings, either via Zoom or in person, and been both impressed and very thankful for your leadership. But my primary reason for being here is uh, to express my support for the election of Sheila Mohan as the next mayor and J.R. Fruin as the next vice mayor of Cupertino. Over the past year, through my regular attendance of council meetings, I've become keenly aware of the many challenges uh, which lie ahead for our, our wonderful city's government. And during, uh, dealing with these challenges will require strong and balanced leadership, which I am certain Sheila and JR will provide. As vice mayor over the past year, I observed Sheila's competence and steady hand in council chambers. During uh, the coming year, the city will be dealing with difficult budgeting finance, and finance matters. Sheila's background as a retired senior finance director for Santa Clara County will be perfect for what lies ahead for, city, uh, for Cupertino city government. Also, as a member of city council over the past year, I've seen JR's calm, cool, and collected leadership style emerge on numerous key issues discussed in council chambers, and I know he will be an excellent vice mayor. I urge you to elect Sheila Mohan as mayor and J.R. Fruin as vice mayor. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Next we have Neil Park McClintock, followed by Hema Kandargi, followed by Sandra James. Welcome, Neil.
Hello. I don't have a ton to say. My name is Neil, and I am very happy today uh, and hope that um, moving forward, we are led by the leadership of Mayor Sheila Mohan and Vice Mayor J.R. Fruin, uh, both of whom I've been able to work with, and I think they're incredible, great human beings, very intelligent, and I think they will move us in a very positive direction. Thank you very much. Thank you, Neil. Next, we have Hima Kandargi, followed by Sandra Dames, James, followed by Jennifer Sheeran. Um, good evening, um, Hangwei. Thank you so much for leading the city to a better place than what it was before. And um, I urge you to um, support and elect Sheila Mohan as the mayor and GR as the vice mayor. And Sheila has been my neighbor for the uh, past 30 years, and I can't emphasize enough how wonderful she's going to be for the city. She's uh, fair, she's intelligent, she's dedicated, and uh, we can't have a better mayor than Sheila for Cupertino. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Sandra James, followed by Jennifer Sharon, followed by Carol Stanick. Good evening. Um, I'm speaking tonight as a long-term resident of Cupertino and a former mayor, a former two-time mayor, and set up there right where you sit. Um, I would like to thank Hung Wei for her leadership this year. It's been a difficult year, and you have shown great leadership qualities. Thank you very much. And coming up, we're going to have some more challenges. And so I agree with some of the speakers who have already spoke that, that Sheila has a great background in finance, and it's, there's going to be some challenges in finance. I I think she'll be an excellent choice as mayor and JR with her legal mind and calm, calm nature, as, as others have spoken. I think you would be very good as vice mayor. So I'd like to encourage those two. Um, and then as well, I'm up here, I'd like to take a few moments to thank our, our city manager, our uh, city attorney, and all of our employees who have done a wonderful job this year on everything they've been asked to do, and the rest of the city council also for all of your work, and our city clerk who's always sits up there so calm and collected. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Next we have Jennifer Sharon. Please no clapping, please. Stanick. Thank you. Good evening, council members and Mayor Way. This is the last time I get to say that, so let me say thank you. And for all your service this year, um, you were extraordinary being available to all Cupertino residents, whether it was at one of your morning coffees or all the events that you attended. You were pretty much at every event I went to. So that's amazing. And there you made time to talk to all the community members. So I really appreciate it. I'm only speaking as a resident this evening. I do encourage you to vote for uh, Sheila um, Mohan to become mayor and for council member J.R. Fruin to become vice mayor. Both have been outstanding on their first year on council and have shown the demeanor, the hard work, and the thoughtfulness that are so needed. It's been a tough year, and I, I think that was already alluded to by the previous speaker. We need sound leadership uh, that's based on accountability, honesty, good working relationships with our wonderful staff, and a desire to be leaders for all of Cupertino. It's clear that Vice Mayor Mohan and Council Member Fruin are going to be that. So I ask you to consider my input tonight. And again, thank you all for your service on behalf of Cupertino. Thank you, Jennifer. Next we have Carol Stanick, followed by Helene Davis, followed by Philip Nguyen. Hi, I'm Carol Stanick. I'm speaking for, on behalf of myself tonight. I'd like to thank Mayor Way for her wisdom and her guidance this past year. You have led with your heart and your love for the city, and it always shows. Thank you so much. Similarly, Vice Mayor Mohan has jumped into her role with integrity, intelligence, and thoughtfulness in her comments and her votes. I'd also like to thank J.R. Fruin for his knowledge and concern for all of our residents and all of their needs. The addition of Sheila and J.R. to the, our council has brought a new vigor and competence to the council and to our city. I thank you with all of my heart. I fully support these two for mayor and vice mayor for the next year. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Helene Davis followed by Philip Nguyen followed by Nicole Fan. Good evening, council and staff. My name is Helene Davis and I'm here tonight as the president of the Cupertino Copertino Sister Cities Association. And I want to thank Mayor Wei Hung for all your support of Sister Cities over these years and also for your service to our community. 
Um, you're always so positive, you collaborate really well with all the different organizations in the city, and you really are a true champion for our city. Um, and I also look forward to welcoming our incoming mayor and vice mayor. And thank you very much for your time. Uh, next we have Philip Nguyen, followed by Nicole Fan, followed by Richard Lowenthal. Welcome, Philip. Hi, uh, hello, my name is Philip, and I'm a longtime uh, community member of Cupertino. Today I'm here to voice my support in the appointment of Sheila as mayor and JR as vice mayor. I believe they have the majority of Cupertino residents' interests in mind and will always take everyone's thoughts into account. I believe they will advocate for everyone, whether you go to school here, rent here, own a home here, retire here, or are just a local worker looking to live here. Cupertino has a lot of room for improvement regarding housing, climate change, uh, resiliency, bike infrastructure, and more. But I have faith that the new um, appointments of mayor and vice mayor will get the work done and really deliver. So thank you and cheers. Thank you. And so I believe the last name is, so it's Nicole, and I believe the last name is Fan. but oh, yes, OK, welcome. Thank you. Oh. Hello, my name is Nicole, and I am a lifelong resident of Cupertino. Today, I'm here to voice my support for the new appointments of Sheila and JR for mayor and vice mayor, as I believe they have the vast majority of Cupertino's residents' interests in mind. Whether you are a student, renter, homeowner, or even a worker looking to live in Cupertino, I have faith that the new mayor and vice mayor will fight for you. We have a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Nicole. Next, we have Richard Lowenthal, followed by Judy Wilson, followed by Ava Chow. Welcome, Richard. Thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity to speak. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor Way, for the leadership that you and Sheila and JR and the rest of the council have provided to our city. Uh, it's a change in leadership that came a year ago made a, a huge difference to our city. And we need you to continue that by, by uh, tonight appointing Sheila as mayor and JR as, as vice mayor. The change has been, we used to have lawsuits. We were, we were under constant lawsuits here. Our staff was leaving in droves. The grand jury was finding all of these problems. Now even Valco has started again. So we need you to continue that leadership and just keep, keep it going with the team that you've got and let's do it again. Thanks very much. Thank you, Richard. Next we have Judy Wilson, followed by Ava Chow, followed by Elisa Sakas. Welcome, Judy. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Uh, so I'm speaking as myself, Judy Wilson. I'm leaving all my other hats aside. I'm a 40-year resident of Cupertino and a 32-year friend of Hong Wei. And um, I would, I'm here to thank her for um, the job she did this year. So I had a special, I don't know, relationship. I got to share her calendar, her calendar. You should have seen her calendar. And I don't know, remember Jerry Brown? Like he was everywhere, and you thought there must be many Jerry Browns. I think Hung actually took up the mantle and possibly beat him. She was everywhere. I tried to do like one minute in her calendar, and you couldn't. So I have really lived here a long time and have never seen a mayor pay so much personal attention and heart to every citizen in Cupertino. So I'm saying a huge thank you from me and I'm sure I represent all the people that are not here, that you've had your picture taken with, which is pretty much everyone in Cupertino. And in my last few seconds, I'd like to say, um, uh, if I have a minute extra, to uh, thank Sheila and JR for taking up the mantle, doing such a great job, being everywhere, following Hung, supporting us. And um, I think they would make a great mayor, Sheila, and Vice Mayor JR. So um, I hope you consider my words. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Ava Chow, followed by Elisa Sakas, followed by Fariba Najat. Welcome, Ava. Hello. Welcome. Um, good evening and happy holidays. Dear Honorable Mayor Hung Wei and Vice Mayor Mohan and our Honorable City Council members. I'd like to thank you and the Cupertino staff for 
working in a positive direction and taking our city where we are getting work done. I would like to thank you personally, Mayor Hung Wei, for redefining what honorable is as showing what your actions are. And you have done that with holding monthly um, coffee with the mayor and being open and available for the public is very important. So appreciate that, thank you. I'm here to support and um, nominate uh, Sheila Mohan as our next mayor and J.R. Fruin as our next vice mayor. Council Member Mohan has the finance experience that will keep our city in good financial standing. She is calm and professional. Council Member J.R. Fruin has legal expertise and does deep research for each of our city council meetings. He has the policy experience, especially with housing. Our city needs more housing to keep our city alive and bring more families to our excellent and high performing schools. I'd like to thank the supportive staff that has provided their expertise to our ele elected mayor and council members. So thank you for doing that. Let's continue to move forward and thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you. Next we have Elisa Sakas. Is this a group request? Okay, so you need five people. Oh, I need five people? Yes, that's uh, according to our council okay. procedures. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks, Anjali. City Council and City Staff, good evening. Um, I'm Elisa Sakas and I'm serving as the president of Cupertino Toyokawa Sister Cities Incorporated. And I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to Mayor Hung Wei on behalf of our committee for your steadfast support of our sister city programs. We appreciate your backing, especially for our key events, our April Cherry Blossom Festival, our August Bell Ringing for Peace event, and our recent 45th anniversary virtual cer ceremony um, celebrating our enduring bond between Cupertino and Toyokawa, our anniversaries on December 19th in a few days. Your understanding of the unique nature of Sister Cities Committee being distinct from other clubs or charitable organizations in our, in our city is very important. It's important to recognize that establishing a Sister City <clears throat> uh, relationship involves the City Council approval, formal agreements signed by the top officials of both cities, and recognition by Sister Cities International, a body that registers and coordinates such linkages worldwide. We're grateful for the trust that you place in us to develop Sister City programming and to allow us to nurture these official government relationships on behalf of our city. We anticipate, we, in the interest of time, I'll also congratulate whoever the incoming mayor and vice mayor will be. We eagerly anticipate continuing our collaborative efforts with the city. The city's continued support is integral to our volunteer committee as we strive to represent and serve our community. So thank you again for your ongoing support and we look forward to furthering our partnership with the city of Cupertino. And now I would like to change hats um, because I'm also the president of the Rotary Club of Cupertino, so I wanted to speak on behalf of them as well. And I see that there are many members of our club here, in, here tonight, and if you'd like to stand or wave, I'd appreciate everyone being recognized in our club. We would like to also thank Hung Wei for her leadership, and Hung is no stranger to Rotary since she's serving as our district governor. I'd like to extend an invitation to our next mayor to learn about Cupertino Rotary, and we would like to explore the potential to collaborate for collaborative opportunities between our club and the city of Cupertino. We take great pride in our commitment to community service and contribute significantly to many projects in Cupertino and the surrounding larger community. Our club funds 50 to 60 projects annually, allocating a charitable budget of about $180,000 towards initiatives in the areas of climate action, community service, workforce development, and youth service. We also support some international projects that align with our philanthropic values. 
As part of my tenure as club president, I have a goal of introducing Rotary within our community and fostering a stronger partnership with the city of Cupertino. I believe that working together, we can enhance the well-being of our city and of our residents. So what I, appreci I would appreciate the opportunity to discuss potential collaboration avenues, and I'll be contacting the new mayor and vice mayor soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, we have Fariba Najat, followed by Seema Linskog, followed by Yvonne <coughs> Thorstensen. Good evening. Good evening, City Council member and uh, Hong Wei, Mayor Hong Wei. I just want to say thank you for create, bringing back the home feeling of the community back again. Thank you. Because it's very important for a while, you know, we didn't have that feeling of, you know, always City Council was not that great, but thank you very much. And hopefully, uh, we can see more cultural diversity in our city because this is the strong part of the city was the cultural diversity. I'm going to congratulate uh, Sheila and JR for their next leadership, uh, you know, you know, time term. And I would like to say we need to see more cultural diversity. The, when I started to help of the city of Cupertino many years ago, 1994, 1995, we were envisioning the city as a, as a little world because it has all the culture and respect all the culture. And I would like to see more of that for the, you know, for upcoming year. Thank you very much and congratulations again on your next term. Thank you. Next, we have Seema Linskog, followed by Yvonne Thorstensen, followed by Louise Sadati. Respected Mayor Hung, uh, Vice Mayor Mohan, and Council members, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Um, I want to, first of all, thank Mayor Hung for an incredible job, not just for being everywhere all at once and always taking pictures, but also for bringing reasonableness and thoughtfulness and kindness uh, back to the council interactions. Um, I've watched more council meetings than I care to remember, and I've been impressed with how hard you've tried to give everybody an equal speaking opportunity and let them express their thoughts, um, not just members of the council, but the, the community as well. Um, and that is deeply appreciated. Um, so thank you for, for everything you've done for the city and for the tone you set for the council. Um, Vice Mayor Mohan, I hope to call you Mayor Mohan soon. Um, you were kind of a unknown to, in the politics until two years ago um, and uh, been watching the same meetings and I've been very impressed with how thoughtful and careful you are in thinking through things, uh, doing your homework, coming prepared, um, and also very similar to uh, Mayor Wei, trying to give everybody the chance to uh, express their thoughts and truly listen to everybody's perspectives. Um, I think you'll make an excellent mayor because of that, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in that role. Um, J.R. Fruin, um, probably the most knowledgeable person on this, um, on this council uh, that we've seen in a long time. Um, I have the honor of calling you my friend uh, for many, many years. And uh, anytime I don't know the answer to anything, I call you. Uh, you're basically the encyclopedia on anything legal or policy or city related. And I hope we can name you a vice Thank mayor Thank you, today. that is your time. Thank you for your Next time. Next we have Yvonne Thorstensen, followed by Luis Sadati, followed by Henry W. Welcome, Yvonne. Hello, and good evening, and uh, thanks to everyone on the, on the dais for your service to our, our um, community. And uh, thank you, Mayor Wei, for always having a friendly face up there. I <laughs> uh, really do appreciate your leadership, and I, I wish you could continue, but maybe there'll be another time in the future. <laughs> um, I would like to uh, support, as other eloquent speakers have already stated, reasons for supporting um, new mayorship with Sheila Mohan and J.R. Fruin as vice mayor. It's really easy to, for, to break things down and it's not so easy to build them up and, and to 
and to get through the, the tough decisions. And I have confidence that Sheila and JR are the type that are not there to break down the government, but to build it up and make it serve all the people in our community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we have Louise Sadati, followed by Henry W., followed by Lisa Warren. Welcome, Louise. Um, good evening. Um, thank you to um, soon to be ex mayor Hung Wei for your long, wise, and dedicated service to Cupertino for decades, um, but especially in the last year as mayor. You have been efficient, prompt, um, uh, meetings to the point, greater transparency and, and, having, and having meetings run on time. Thank you to our city staff for their professionalism, service under difficult times. I highly support Sheila as mayor. She is supremely honest. Her core value of integrity shines through. Um, she has financial experience over decades. Um, including working as Senior Finance Director of Santa Clara County. Her financial expertise is key to solving Cupertino's financial challenges. I wholeheartedly also support J.R. Fruin as Vice Mayor. He is a lawyer who has demonstrated in-depth and detailed knowledge of the law and ethics. He is to the point efficient and is superbly competent. We need his continued calmness, focus on what is good for the greater good of all of Cupertino, his ability to keep Cupertino in line with the law instead of grand jury indictments and frivolous lawsuits. They will continue to help Cupertino to focus on continued positive forward progress for our city instead of the previous council's continued negativity and naysaying. We now don't have new grand jury indictments. Valco development is moving forward. Our council meetings are efficient and transparent. Thank you. Thank you, Louise. Next we have Henry W. followed by Lisa Warren, followed by Dan Marshall. Welcome, Henry. All right. Good evening, Mayor Wei and council members, and thank you for the opportunity to speak today. Um, firstly, I want to thank Mayor Wei um, for your true commitment and persistence to the city, and your constant leadership has really kept the city in one of its strongest positions in quite a while, honestly. Um, your presence throughout city events has been really commendable, <laughs> and your tireless efforts to keep the city in check has also been one of, yeah really, really special. And yeah, I just want to roll back the clock a bit. Um, I got involved with the council race for a purpose. And as a Cupertino resident and a Cupertino student at Cupertino High School, I see responsibility, accountability, and competency in the Cupertino City Council. And that is what I see in Council Member Fruin. <laughs> his values are one that have stayed true and visible throughout his tenure, and his goals have remained up to date. I appreciate the positive impact that you have had on the city since you have been elected. And finally, what I truly want to say and hope that will be true is that your legal mind will continue to be and lead the city as the next vice mayor. And thank you, Vice Mayor Mohan, for your service in the past year with the city of Cupertino. And I believe you have the financial experience to keep the city in check in the following, in the following tenure as Mayor of Cupertino, and I would like wholeheartedly to endorse you as the next mayor of Cupertino. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Lisa Warren, followed by Dan Marshall, followed by Patrick Ahrens. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you. So, first off, I've got to get this out of the way so I don't forget. Sandra James, you stole my thunder. I was going to say. Uh, Lisa, would you mind speaking in more closely to the microphone? This one or that to one? The, to the left, yes. Thank you. Sandra James uh, stole my thunder. I wanted to be the first one to thank Kirsten, our city clerk, for her many, many years of service, both as an assistant clerk and in her current position. And. Uh, <laughs> not supposed to allow clapping, but. Uh, and I also want to thank everyone on the dais currently, and it's no secret that I don't always agree with uh, the majority here, but it's also no secret that I don't disagree always either. 
And what I am con not concerned, what I'm hoping for, I have no real idea of who I would like to see as next mayor in Mike's Fair. It really truly doesn't matter to me this year. And what I'm hoping for is that the entire council and staff remembers why there was a, re a required governance workshop, what was spoken about, what was said, and didn't just walk out of that room with no desire to make improvements because it has been a hard year. And it's been a hard year for many reasons. Um, what's happening around us, larger than our city, what's happening within our city, and some broken promises. So I'm hoping those get mended, and I hope that everyone takes seriously what was spoken about at that governance meeting and does follow up meetings. Like they all, the council all agreed, I think all but one, agreed that there should be follow up meetings, and it was deemed doable and not a, not a problem with the Brown Act. And Thank yet you I don't said think anyone. That is your time occurred sorry and next we have dan marshall followed by patrick aarons followed by rod sinks is dan marshall okay so we will move to patrick aarons welcome patrick thank you so much council um patrick aarons i serve as the board of trustees for foothill de Anza community college uh, where I just want to say thank you so much to the entire council for your continued support for our students, uh, whether it be your tens of thousands of dollars in commitment to uh, our rental stipend program where you've helped uh, our homeless students uh, stay inside, or whether it be your support for our bond measure, which we have successfully allocated $200 million of affordable housing for students, faculty, and staff to working with um, really every single one of the council members in supporting uh, our farmers market, that is every Sunday uh, at, in, in Cupertino. Uh, really appreciate each and every one of you. I especially want to thank our outgoing Mayor Hung Wei for your steadfast support for the community colleges. And just speaking in my personal capacity, what an amazing job you've done uh, at being omnipresent in everything uh, that is Cupertino especially the crown jewel, which is De Anza College. Um, not the library, although I love the library, but it, the crown jewel is De Anza College of Cupertino. Um, I also want to thank uh, J.R. Fruin. Uh, I don't think there's a council member who supported the bond measure more than uh, going to the voters and at, helping answer the tough questions of what it takes um, in raising funds to help our homeless students, faculty, and staff. Uh, proud to support you as our next vice mayor um, and Sheila Mohan as our next mayor who's done a, such a terrific job. I have 20 seconds left, but I will just say whoever you all decide, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you. Let us all work together. Um, let us not uh, look at the past, uh, but let's just look forward. Cupertino has a lot of major issues and we need to work together to solve them and I'm looking forward to working with you on that. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Rod Sinks, followed by Angela Chen, followed by Saba Kraja. Welcome, Rod. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, it's been quite a year. You've righted the ship. You're still taking on water, but you've done a lot to, to bail. Uh, the financial challenges are very substantial. Honestly, right, if um, Valka was coming online, and if it had started construction in 2019, we could be looking at that diversified revenue source. I hope that you get the housing element done. I hope you build a lot of housing. It's a challenging time for all of that. But I want to speak specifically about transportation. The council in this city and staff put together uh, the VIA program, which became Silicon Valley Hopper. Through October of this year, that program has been so successful that it's now grown into southern part of Santa Clara and may grow to Sunnyvale soon. Uh, we're working on that. I'm a, uh, currently an FUHSD trustee, a former mayor, but just speaking for myself. And I want you to know that there have been over 40,000 rides through October, year to date, 6,200 unique riders. 
I encourage you, despite all of the budget challenges, to preserve that service because it is bringing kids to high school, uh, ride-share kids to high school, as well as to uh, De Anza College and to the Sunnyvale uh, train station. So let's see what we can get, get done with housing and transportation in the new year. I uh, honor your service, Mayor, Mayor Way, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Sheila as our next mayor and JR as our next vice mayor. If I was picking, these would be my choices for all the reasons people have talked about. Long municipal experience and a terrific background in understanding um, uh, land use, which is a big part of this job, and trying to work to, uh, collaboratively with other cities. Thank you all for your service. Thank you, Rod. Next we have Angela Chen, followed by Saba Kraja, followed by Mahesh Bakala. Welcome, Angela. Thank you. Um, good evening, Mayor Wei, Vice Mayor Mohan, uh, and the members of City Council. I'm Angela Chen. I'm here tonight on behalf of Cupertino St. Sister City to thank all the council members providing your time and leadership to Cupertino. But specifically, I want to thank Mayor Wei for your leadership as mayor of Cupertino and also for your personal involvement in many of our sister city uh, events and programs. We're gonna miss your speech so much because all the speeches came directly from your heart. At least we felt that way. And you're very genuine and you're very effective and efficient uh, in managing everything. And now you're helping us to make the itinerary to welcome Mayor of St. Jude to Cupertino next week. For that, we say thank you. And for many other things, we thank you for your, for your leadership and we look very much looking forward to continuing our um, partnership and cooperation in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Next we have Saba Kraja, followed by Mahesh Pakala, followed by Gilbert Wong. Welcome, Saba. Hi, Sheila. <clears throat> I'm not here to represent any group but myself. Uh, good evening. I've known Sheila for over 20 years. I work for the County of Santa Clara, and I've known her in an employment capacity. We work together, colleagues. She was an executive. I'm now an executive. And you know, you don't meet many people that you know leave the county empl employment public workforce without some sort of you know gossip or information about somebody but she's one of those people that you actually can say nothing about her other than she's a wonderful kind human being and the financial experience of course is already there but you know i'm in the world and i work in my role as an equal opportunity director which is responsible for investigating complaints of discrimination harassment retaliation we sometimes have these really big conversation and nuanced conversations and she's one of those people that can approach these conversations with such nuance, curiosity, and really thoughtfulness. And I, I have no, uh, I, I don't think there should be any doubt tonight that we're nominating you. And so I just wanted to share that with everyone else that this is, to me, should be you know, slam dunk, right, Sheila? Um, so I just wanted to say I am just so proud of you as a friend. And we have two other friends with us uh, that are with her, that have known her for 20 years, that would say the same thing, and that we're just proud of you. And thank you for being a role model and a mentor and a good friend. Thank you. And you all lucky to have her, City of Cupertino. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have Mahesh Bakala, followed by Gilbert Wong, followed by Dolly Sandoval. Welcome, Mahesh. Thank you. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak. Again, uh, Mahesh Bakala. And to the first I'll speak as a community worker for the last 30 years, doing a lot of nonprofit work and working for the community as a volunteer. And uh, it was a real pleasure to have uh, Hung Wei as the mayor because before she took over, I know there was a lot, it, the house was on fire. <laughs> and there were a lot like either you are with me or against me. And she brought that calmness that was really required for the city of Cupertino. And many other speakers before me spoke, so I'm not going to repeat all the plus things, but I think that was really required for Cupertino, wherein uh, Hung Wei really, she, I think she's a soldier who has been doing a lot of voluntary work, so she understood the how to handle it, and she took real care in 
listening to all the parties, everyone, and gave her decision in a very right way. And that helped calm a lot of nerves, a lot of uh, feelings, and I think in this kind of a political environment, we needed that person, and that was Hung Wai, the Mayor Hung Wai, who really made it happen for everybody in the community. Thank you so much for your passion and effort. It takes a lot of effort to do that, and I always see the smile, and that is really great. And of course, uh, the, the Vice Mayor, uh, really Sheila Mahon, she got the same flavor of calmness, and which was really required. And not only that, the Indian American community really thanks uh, for passing the SB403, which otherwise, I think the whole, in the whole state, the Scupertino was the first city, I would like to ac uh, acknowledge that, that passed this bill because of which the, gov the governor could veto it down. And I think the Indian American community, not only in the Cupertino area, but the whole US and in India, thanks the city of Cupertino for doing what was right and uh, just. And I'm sure, uh, and of course, J.R. Fuen, Kitty Moore, Liang, everybody was part of it. Thank and, you, uh, that is your time, Mahesh. Thank you, and really appreciate thank it. You. I'm next, looking forward to the new year. we have Bye. Gilbert Wong, followed by Dolly Sandoval, followed by Stanley Koo. Welcome, Gilbert. Thank you. Um, good evening, Cooper City Council and a senior manager and city attorney. I've never seen such a long oral communication uh, tonight. I thought maybe you were your elected or mayor and vice mayor already. Um, I want to say congratulations to Mayor Hung Wei for a wonderful year as mayor. Not only have you been everywhere for the community, you actually really open your heart to the community as well, too. Not only you serve as our, our, our uh, district uh, governor for the Rotary Club of, of this area, but also you're able to balance being a uh, mayor as well as being a district uh, governor, as well as meeting our community members. So I put my hat off uh, for that. Um, we are here about how can we move forward? How can the five council members uh, move forward? Yes, I definitely strongly support our vice mayor to be our mayor, Sheila Mohan. Uh, she has wonderful financial um, background and I saw you um, grown a lot, as well as council member J.R. Fruin, uh, a great public policy person and working for a great vice mayor in a neighboring city. We see so many community leaders here from assembly members, council members from other communities and council members to show that we are back on track. No matter our differences and how we can, how we agree to disagree or move forward, it would be a nice sign tonight to show five council members voting in unison, maybe you agree or disagree, that is very important that we show unity in the city of Cupertino as we have this financial uh, situation that you're all working together with our city manager to deal with. But I think that if we want to make a difference to show unity, that we should support the majority, even though you may agree to disagree with that person. Um, that is what I think the residents of Cupertino wants to uh, move forward to, and I hope I can see this tonight. Congratulations to every single one that does. Thank you, Gilbert. Next, we have Dolly Sandoval, followed by Stanley Koo, followed by Patrick Kwok. Welcome, Dolly. Thank you. City manager, Pamela, or city staff, <coughs> residents, and city council. First, I'd like to tell you, as you all know, democracy is not a passive sport. We have to all get involved, and so the first group of folks that I would like to thank are the voters here in the city of Cupertino who made some wise choices 12 months ago and elected um, J.R. Fruin and Sheila Mohan to the city council. And then those five city council members elected Hung Wei as our mayor, and I thank you for that. We have a number of organizations that the city collaborates with all over the map be it De Anza College, be it the Cricket Academy, be it our schools, whether it's Fremont Union High School District or Cupertino Elementary. And we have another number of residents who don't have anything to do with any of those organizations, but who care about the future of our city. And so we, the voters, have entrusted that to you, the council. Thank you, Mayor Way, for your accomplishments this year in bringing stability and steadfastness to making sure that our council listens to all of our residents. I hope in the next few moments that Sheila will be elected vice mayor and uh, mayor, excuse me, mayor, and JR vice mayor. But whichever way it goes, 
What I really hope for is that you as a council continue to work on behalf of the residents in this city because we deserve a well-run city. We deserve an awesome staff. Right now we have that and I just wish for me that that continues. Thank you very much and I look forward to you voting t this evening. Thank you. Next we have Stanley Koo followed by Patrick Kwok. <coughs> Welcome Stanley. Good evening. Uh, Mayor Wei and uh, Vice Mayor uh, Mohan and uh, all the council members. And uh, my name is uh, Stanley Koo. Uh, I'm the uh, Fremont Union High School District Board member, but uh, I'm uh, uh, speak to that tonight uh, on my personal capacity. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank you all the council members uh, this past year under our Mayor Way's leadership and uh, make our Cupertino a safe student uh, uh, commute uh, city. And although uh, uh, it's not a uh, complete, and I'm looking forward to see uh, next year under Mayor uh, Mohan's leadership, we can make uh, our uh, high school uh, commute a better, uh, safe uh, way to do that. And uh, I really uh, like to uh, use this opportunity to thank all the council members. And uh, we are looking forward to work with our uh, council member and help our students in our city. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. And our final speaker is Patrick Kwok. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you, Honorable Mayor and City City Council and City staff. Uh, 2023 has been a really tough year. We have a new council, uh, a brand new council, and uh, but despite all these problems we have, we still be able to provide essential services to the city, and thanks to the quick work by the city manager and the city staff. 2024 will be another challenging year. Uh, we have to deal with housing, we have to deal with uh, 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 fiscal uh, issues, um, but uh, I am hoping that the new mayor under strong leadership can bring the, the city council together and work very well so that we can get the uh, things accomplished. I'm looking forward to continue with, with the city council uh, next year. Thanks for, uh, thank you very much, uh, current council, for a great job, and we appreciate that. Bye. Thank you, Patrick. And Mayor, that was our final speaker. Thank you very much, Madam City Clerk, and I'd like to thank everyone who made the comments, and uh, we really appreciate your time to spend time in the council room with us. So before I bring this, um, I'm gonna close the public comments period right now, I, before, I before I move to um, our council discussion, I'd like to make a couple of announcements. The first, I would like to thank you, our local businesses, Pineapple Thai Restaurant and Cupertino Hotel for providing the food and refreshments prior to tonight's ceremony. I would like to express our sincere gratitude for your sponsorship, Pineapple Thai and Cupertino Hotel. I believe there's just some more food out there, so you're welcome to take some more food and beverages. Another is I do believe we have elected officials from our neighboring cities and our school boards, would you like to stand and uh, let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you for coming to Kubishino City Council. <laughs> so thank you very much for everyone to be here and I'd like to bring it back for council um, discussion. And so we have number eight is council uh, members elect the mayor. So, um, do I have, okay, uh, Council Member Froome's lights on, followed by Council Member Chow. So I'd like to get us started by offering the nomination and appointment of Sheila Mohan as mayor for the coming year. And so we have a motion. Um, may I have a second? Second. Second by Council Member Chow. And I'm going back to Council for discussion. Okay, so seeing can, none, I would. Can I make a comment? Yes, please. Okay. So, Mayor Hong Wei, I'm very glad that I made the motion to nominate you to be the mayor last year. 
And although it has been a challenging year, and uh, a, a lot of changes have been pushed through, which we often disagree. And this year especially has been challenging not only for me, but for many Cupertino residents who voted for me to represent them. If any of you don't recognize that, then you might be blindsided. I think I appreciate your patience and uh, to listen to dissenting voices. And you will take, be fa have been fair and open-minded and would allow time for dissenting voices to be expressed. I think it's important for us to know if we ignore minority voices, we will be blindsided. There might be gaps in our understanding and we won't be making the best decisions for all of Cupertino residents. My next part um, of the speech was, I was hoping to nominate Sheila Mohan to be the next mayor, but uh, <laughs> JR took my sunshine. But I am glad to second um, Sheila. I, I think many would agree that Sheila Mohan will continue the model set by Mayor Hongwei to be fair and open-minded. So dissenting voices are not silenced, but truly appreciated. And I hope that we continue that next year. Thank you. Thank you for the comment. Uh, Councilmember Chow, do you have more comments? Um, if not, I'd like to make a brief comment. Um, I really believe being mayor is a learning process. This year, you've seen me make mistakes, and we always tell our students, it's okay to make mistakes, and we learn. So to me, this year is a learning experience. I want, I want to say, Vice Mayor Mohan, this is probably the last time I'll call you Vice Mayor, you will demeanor that calmness that really brings this council together. So I'm really looking forward to your leadership, and I am very happy to uh, now to call for a row vote um, actually, vote by light. We have a motion made by Council Member Fung, second by Council Member Chow, to elect Sheila Mohan as our mayor. Let's vote by light. The motion carries unanimously. Well, I thank you very much. I usually don't allow applause, so please sit down. <laughs> And so um, we are moving to item number B, council members elect vice mayor. May I have a motion, please? Oh, um, mayor Mohan, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mayor Wei. I'll still call you Mayor Wei for a while. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for what happened a few seconds ago. Uh, it's my um, honor to nominate uh, Council Member J.R. Fruin to be our next Vice Mayor. We have a motion by Mayor Mohan. May I have a second, please? I will second that. So I'm going to bring back for Council discussion. Council Member Moore, please. Um, I would like to make a substitute motion to nominate Council Member Chow as Vice Mayor. Council Member Chow makes sure that the community's voices are heard and uses her incredible intellect to process and sort through complex issues with compassion. A Princeton PhD, Dr. Liang Fang Chow, has been Vice Mayor three times and is more than ready to assume the role. Having Council Member Chow serve in this position will demonstrate a commitment to having a whole council, not a divided one. Please support the nomination of Council Member Chow for Vice Mayor. Thank you. We have a substitute motion by Council Member Moore to elect Council Member Chow as Vice Mayor. Do we have a second? So I'll second, and uh, I have a comment to make. Sure. We're going to bring back to Council discussion. We have a motion and a second on the substitute motion. Council Member Chow, please. Cupertino voters are divided. This was reflected by the close margins for major C and D in 2016, and also was reflected in 2018 and 20 elections. And in 2022, Council Member um, Fruen was 
ele was 444 votes apart from the next um, candidate. Cupertino residents are also divided geologically, where one side has bigger houses and bigger lots, where more residents are financially independent. But there is another side where most residents are worker bees like me, who cannot afford to take time and money to be inv more involved with city issues. When we left, the majority voices dominate on every issue and every vote. We are ignoring the minority voice, the marginalized. We are here to serve every Cupertino resident. Those who can attend council meeting at 5 p.m. in person on a weekday, and we are also here to serve those who cannot take time to attend in person at 5 p.m. on a Thursday due to either work or family commitment. We are here to serve every Cupertino resident. Those who are a member of a big and powerful clubs like Rotary or Chamber, but also those who are a member of other smaller nonprofits serving various needs. At the council workshop, every one of the council members have committed to be collaborative too. Every one of us has committed to listen to diverse voices in Cupertino. How do we place this commitment into action? By electing a vice mayor who represents the other health. The health who is often economically challenged. The health who is not currently represented by the council majority today. With that in mind, I made the I seconded the motion to, I made the motion to elect Hang Wei as the, vice, as the mayor last year. And I seconded the motion to elect Sheila Mohan as the mayor this year. Those are my gestures to extend an olive branch to across the political divide so we get the year to a good start. I'm glad that has started. Now I would like to ask my fellow council members, should we have two straight years where both the current majority, where the current council majority take both mayor and vice mayorship so the minority voices do not get represented? The majority can of course block the major minority from every position, but should you? Are you representing everyone of Cupertino residents to the best of your ability? Vice mayor is mainly ceremonial in purpose, as we all know. Thus, it is a good opportunity to extend the olive branch across the political divide. My fellow council members, today you have a chance to put your words into action you have a chance to demonstrate that you are able to truly represent all of Cupertino residents by electing a vice mayor who brings balance to Cupertino Council and who represents the minority voices, but it's almost on um, balance. The minority is a minority that's actually more than 45% on the council today. We have an opportunity for a fresh start for the next year. Let's truly work together, both in words and in action, across the divide next year. With that, I would like to nominate Council Member Moore to be the, uh, um, yes, I would like to make a substitute motion to nominate Council Member Moore to be the Vice Mayor next year. We have a second substitute motion, and may we have a second? Um, I'll, I will second that, um, and I, I really appreciate the, the words from um, Council Member Chow. Um, for a little bit on my- um, We're open up for discussion. Council Member Moore, please. Yes, thank you. I'll second it first. Do I second? You may 
Oh, I made the motion. Okay, um, so for a little background on my service to the city, um, I chaired the Environmental Review Committee for four years. I chaired the VTA Policy Advisory Committee for two years. I served on the Audit Committee for two years and chaired it. I chaired the Housing Element Strategic Advisory Committee. I vice chaired the Legislative Review Committee. I vice chaired the Valley Water Committee. I was appointed four years in a row to the Cal City's Environmental Qual Quality Policy Committee. Um, my term starts up in January. I served on the Planning Commission for two years and chaired it. In each of these positions, I was elected or appointed to lead by my peers on these bodies, which have included supervisors and council members from the entire county. My background is civil engineering land development and I've been in an environmental studies program at Danza College, shout out, for the past two years specifically to complement my council work. And I believe that council members need to act with courage and not be intimidated by groups and individuals vying for their interests. We need to take the time to not just read the agenda packets, which are hundreds and sometimes thousands of pages long, but to consider that information carefully in order to represent the community equitably and to work to make documents like the general plan, the budget, certificates of participation, the ACFR, we need to work to make those understandable and accessible to the public to reduce the knowledge divide between the council members and the public so that everyone is able to contribute from a place of near equal, as near equal footing as possible on all of these matters. Regardless of how this vote goes, that is my wish. Thank you, Councilmember Moore. Councilmember Chow, you have a light on, please. Yeah. The reason that I think Katie Moore is very deserving to be vice mayor, not only that she has been recognized outside of Cupertino by other council members, supervisors in every committee she serves. She was often nominated to be the chair or vice chair of other, com other committees. And um, she also has found a lot of compliance issues with Cupertino. Some might think that she is too critical, but it has been demonstrated she, a lot of issues would not have been addressed if she didn't find out, find them out, and then bring it up. So this is when I think when we work, work, work together as a city, we should appreciate the, the persons who point out issues because that allows us the opportunity to address them. For example, the pollution at the largest residential site in Cupertino, which we all know, if she didn't find that out, workers might have been um, exposed to pollution at the work site. And then she found out we are not compliant in our monthly treasurer's report. And the grand jury report confirmed that. Fortunately, Cupertino was in addressing the issue already. And then recently, she pointed out uh, other issue that with our, um, an another issue that was raised uh, on, um, anyway. So she, because she pointed out, we just got a memo from the staff that two issues uh, we are not complying with the current requirement. The staff is taking steps to address them. So thanks to Council Member Moore, we, the staff, now have an opportunity to be fully compliant with and not yet another state law. Therefore, I hope that the, the other council members could be open-minded, be fair, and really consider you have this opportunity to represent Cupertino. Uh, the minority voices take the step just for a great start. This year has been challenging. If you didn't think that, you are blindsided by your minority view, your majority um, view. So now it's an opportunity for you to open up your mind to, to everyone. Thank you. 
Thank you, Council Member Chow. Do we have comments uh, from other council members? If not, I'd like to make some comments. It is a truly a challenging situation. I want to say I appreciate Council Member Chow, you know, her sometimes deep, really deep thoughts and, you know, leads us into different ways of thinking. And I really want to continue to listen to Council Member Chow. And Council Member Moore, I do admire you. I pride myself in reading the packages very um, thoroughly, and I do believe you um, probably exceed my even reading more thoroughly. And the issues that you bring up to the council, I really appreciate that. But I do want to make a comment, like a lot of people already made. We need to move this council, our Cupertino, into a future that's positive and also to be inclusive. Councilmember Chow continued to say about being a minority. I am the one that experienced that deeply in the first two years while I was in council. And I want to say one more time, uh, when we have Mayor Paul, Mayor Sharf, Mayor Sharf, Mayor Paul, Mayor Paul, to me, something is not quite right in that sequence in the five years. I would like to open this council for diversity and for different opinions. Even though it sounds like the three of us are the majority, but we have different opinions for sure. And I do understand Councilmember Moore, Councilmember Chow's feelings, because I've felt that in the last, the first two years when I was in council. One thing I want to point out is we are here, even if we find issues with our city, with our staff, with our work, we're not looking for issues, we're looking for solutions. The issues with sometimes, I think the past council is still looking for a lot of issues and problems to stop things from going forward. Environmental impact report is for us to find impacts and mitigate it, not to find impact and stop a project. So I would like to lead our, hopefully our city council will continue to go to that positive direction of finding solutions that's going to make our city go forward instead of finding issues to stop things from going forward. That's what I felt in the first two years. So I do believe constructive criticism is very important, but that has to be constructive. Criticism, for criticism's sake, it is not constructive. I want to really say that it is very important for us to work together, absolutely. If we want to resolve our financial issues, we have to work together. We have to lead our city into one direction. That is, we're facing a financial crisis. Let's work together and bring more revenues into our city. Having financial issues doesn't mean we're going to stop doing anything. I just want to say one more time, I really appreciate Council Member Chow, Council Member Moore. We have five different council members, different personalities, but we're not a majority ruled council. We are opinion and everybody has their own opinion and their own input into our council. Our council needs to move forward. We need to find things that, yes, we can fix, not to say we find issues, we're going to stop. I want to say when I find things that our staff, that, you know, I don't understand it, could you explain this to me? You know, our staff is not perfect. We're not perfect. We make mistakes all the time. But I never in public say that to staff. I give it to the staff and they resolve it right there and then. They either make corrections or they say, thank you very much, we can do this to mitigate it. This is how we work together collaboratively. I'm no perfect, nobody's perfect, but we're here not to criticize, but to move forward and learn together as a city, as a city council, as staff. That is why I do believe that it's not about minority voices, it's about how we handle things in our city and lead our city into a direction that's positive, that's constructive, that's moving into the future. So thank you for listening to me. Okay, so we have a second, oh, Councilmember Fung, please. 
I believe that if you so desire as your last significant act as mayor or mayor way, you have the power to offer a substitute motion of your own. Uh, point of order, there are three motions on the I, table. I'm, I'm aware of that. I believe under Rosenberg's, the rule is that the mayor can choose to not accept anything beyond three. Okay. In the alternative, um, Vice Mayor Mohan, you have the power to w withdraw your own motion. Um, I, I do believe okay. we can move forward to vote on the subsidy motion. Yes, right? that's what uh, I would like. I, I, I don't plan on withdrawing my motion. Okay. So if there are no more comments, I would like to vote for the second subsidy motion that's made uh, by Council Member Chow, second by Council Member Moore to elect Council Member Moore as Vice Mayor. Let's vote by light, please. The second substitute motion fails with Chow and Moore voting yes. Okay, so we're gonna move to th the second substitute motion that's made by Council Member Moore, second by Council Member Chow to elect Council Member Chow as Vice Mayor. Let's vote by light. The, it's actually the first substitute motion fails with Chow and Moore voting yes. I'm going to move to the first motion that's made by Mayor Mohan, second by Councilmember Wei, and <laughs> and let's vote by light. Did I not vote? The main motion carries with Chow and Moore voting no. Thank you very much. So we are moving to item number C, Mayor and Vice Mayor Oath of Office, while our city clerk is calling our Mayor and Vice Mayor for the Oath of Office. I will move into the empty, whatever empty seat that's there. Yes, I would like to now invite our mayor-elect and our vice mayor-elect to the front of the dais for the oath of office with the mayor-elect in center stage and vice mayor-elect to the side for the moment. There is a mark. I'd also like to invite assembly member Evan Lowe to administer the oath of office for mayor. Good evening. Do you feel that energy in this room? Do you feel the excitement in this room? I know we all do, especially as we're witnessing democracy in action. And so members of the public, thank you very much for joining in your civic participation and also to the city staff for making this a seamless process as well too. But we're all here to make sure that we have the natural transition of power as well. And I must say, um, Mayor, I'm honored that you've asked me to join you here uh, as well today. You asked me to join you in the uh, swearing in of a vice mayor. So we're on a roll here, two for two. Uh, and that's going to bode well for the future. So if you'll please join me in raising your right hand and repeating after me. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. <laughs> Here we go. I. I. Please state your name. I, Sheila Mohan. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear. That I will bear. True faith. True faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And to the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. 
or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. That and that I will well. And faithfully. And faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon which I am about to enter. About upon which I am about to enter. For this beautiful city of Cupertino. For this beautiful city of Cupertino. Congratulations, <laughs> Mayor Mohan. Congratulations, Mayor Mohan. Thank you, Assemblymember Lowe. Now, if I could. Oh. Now, if I could ask our new mayor to change places with our vice mayor elect. <laughs> if I would like to invite San Jose, City of San Jose Vice Mayor Rosemary Kamei for the oath of office for vice mayor. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me here. Um, I happen to be also the District 1 representative of the City of San Jose, and so as your closest neighbor, I am so delighted to be here and honored to be able to do this oath of office. Um, so J.R. Fruin, if you would repeat after me, I, and your name. Hi, J.R. Fruin. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And to the Constitution of the State of California. And to the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and that I will well and faithfully discharge and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter the duties upon which I am about to enter for the wonderful city of Cupertino for the wonderful city of Cupertino congratulations Congratulations, Vice Mayor Fruin. Thank you, Vice Mayor Kamei. And before you take your seats, would you please join the, may I invite the entire council to take a photo on the dais stage?
Okay, and our new Mayor Mohan and Vice Mayor Fern will now take their new seats at the dais. So the mayor will be sitting in the middle and Vice Mayor will be seated to the left of the mayor. And Council Member Wei has already resumed her seat. Mayor Mohan, you are now presiding officer for the meeting. Welcome on the dais, Mayor Mohan. <laughs> now the meeting is all yours. As you can see, we've already started solving problems. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to this uh, momentous day in my life. Thank you, Assembly Member Evan Lowe, future Assembly Member Patrick Ahearns. Where, where are you guys? <laughs> And thank you for making it so easy to get you to come this evening. And thank you to my fellow <laughs> and thank you to my fellow council members, Council Member Liang Chao, Council Member Kitty Moore, uh, Council Member uh, New Vice Mayor J R Fruin, and especially the very honourable ex Mayor Hung Wei for all your support. Thank you. I want to thank my family, my husband Ram, who had no idea that his life would be upended uh, so completely. Uh, my daughter Aditi, a product of Cupertino schools. Uh, my son-in-law Puneet, uh, and my two biggest supporters, my granddaughters Ananya and Amisha. Where are you guys? Okay. I also want to thank my friends who are here today and most of who were here this time last year. Anil, Reshma, Pushpa, Sudha, Hema, Anita, Ramesh, Gomati. They're always ready to help out, especially on days when my life is particularly scrappy. Um, I want to acknowledge my out-of-town family, my cousin Padmini, who has never missed anything important in my life. She's fluent from uh, Los Angeles and my niece Saryu and her son Advik, who actually flew in from Washington DC for one day. <laughs> and my long-time fri uh, long friends from Santa Clara County, Joanne Cox, Thelma Reby, and Saba Kraha. I hope you know uh, your friendship means the world. I have had the immense good fortune to be able to tap into the experience and wisdom of so many leaders in our city and in our neighboring cities former mayors, former city managers, and members of the Cupertino community. Their knowledge and commitment to our city is unmatched. 
I continue to be inspired by your perspectives, your institutional knowledge, and above all, your love for Cupertino. This, for all of us, has been a tumultuous year. For me, an exciting year. We, as council, in partnership with the various stakeholders in our city, have accomplished much. And under the exemplary leadership and wisdom of uh, the Honorable Hung Wei, who I will continue to call Mayor Hung Wei till I sort of get out of that, uh, we can take pride in steering the city in a direction that augurs well for the future. So thank you. We have uh, streamlined procedures. We have reduced barriers to development. We have strengthened relationships with our community organizations. We have welcomed new businesses and families. And most importantly, we have sent the word out that Cupertino welcomes all who want to live, work, shop, and dine here. None of this would have been possible without the hard work of city staff who continue to impress me with the commitment and expertise uh, in their jobs. And just as importantly, you, the residents, and advocates for the community, whether you approve or disapprove of what we do, your input and your passion is critical to us, and in the end, it is what energizes us. When our family moved to Cupertino, we did so for the schools, we did so for the beautifully laid out neighborhoods and streets, the parks, the city amenities, the eating places, and just the vibrancy and diversity of our city. All of it and more is still there. In the years to come, we'll see changes, more parks, more tra uh, trails, more housing, and more families moving in. Lots of good things for the, mass, for the most part, uh, lots of not so good things either, yeah, as well, but we'll take it all in good stride. And finally, uh, as your new mayor, I want to reaffirm my commitment to serving our beloved city. We face new challenges, particularly in the budget situation and also new opportunities. I know without a doubt that we, that's you, our city staff and our council, uh, will embrace these changes with optimism and open minds because whatever our differences, we are all committed to the well-being of our city. Happy holidays to you and your families, and let's meet up again in 2024, all charged up and ready to go. Thank you very much. Mayor, would you like to invite comments from other council members? I would like to invite the new Vice Mayor, J.R. Fruin, to make some comments. Thank you, Mayor Mohan. So congratulations to you. Congratulations in particular to now Council Member Wei on a very <laughs> successful 2023. Uh, I think you've returned us to a reasonable number of council meetings per year and a reasonable length of council meeting, and I, I think that much of that is due to your leadership. Thank you so much for getting us there. We've been dealt some interesting cards this year. Lots of unexpected difficulties have arisen, but you've always handled those moments with enormous grace and a willingness to hear everyone out. So I think that I speak for really everyone in this room. You've heard it already that we thank you so much for that. To our new mayor, Sheila Mohan, it's been wonderful to get to know you over the last year and a half, almost two years now. You are always a steady and reasonable voice, and when you speak, I know it's not to play to the camera. It's because you have something important to say that advances the discussion. And I knew that this role would work for you very well because just a few weeks ago, you got a dress rehearsal. Right. We had the, the Veterans Memorial Ceremony uh, in honor of, of Veterans Day. And you delivered your comments extraordinarily well, but in particular with a helicopter hovering overhead for almost the entirety of it, and you didn't flinch once. So 
I know you're going to be just fine. I'm really looking forward to you having the gavel this year. To staff, so that they're not forgotten, they had to put on this whole show today. I think they did a wonderful job. Thank you so much. And then finally, to the public. It's really nice to see so many friends and family. Um, my husband is here. Usually he's all by himself. So thank you for keeping him company. We have some real challenges still ahead of us. But I think that this year, if we work on it a bit to be a little bit more together with each other, we can get through it. Thank you. Would any of the other council members like to make some comments? Not seeing any. Oh, oh okay. Oh, we are playing musical chairs here. Go ahead, uh, council member Hangwe. Thank you. I'm learning to push the button to ask Mayor Mohan to let me speak, and Mayor Mohan is getting used to her panel so that we're learning. Again, I really want to say, Mayor Mohan, it's an honor to get to know you and see you in action. Your words are few, but they are so well delivered and thoughtful and from your heart. You know, it, I, I know you have expertise, but it is your honesty and your sincerity that really shines through of what you say. So I really appreciate it, and I've been learning from you. So I want to say, Mayor Mohan, you just delivered a beautiful speech, and I know you're going to be a great leader for our city in the next year, in 2024. So thank you for taking the leadership. Thank you so much. And Vice Mayor Froon, I must say, to get to know you a few years before, it, it, it is a learning process for me, too. You know, a younger generation in our city council represents diversity. You and your expertise in your legal um, advice is a treasure for this council. But I want to say, more than your legal expertise, it is where your heart is for the diversity for all of Cupertino and not just Cupertino for outside of Cupertino. I always say Cupertino doesn't stand alone. We're part of Silicon Valley and you represent that. So thank you for being our vice mayor. I want to see you in action. Your words are really few and you don't speak a lot in council meetings, but the very important words that sometimes I have to strain my ears to listen. So I would like you to repeat that sometimes because your legal advice and your perspective sometimes need to be echoed more than just once. So I look forward to hearing more of your thoughtful, um, not legal critique, but legal advice, but also advice for the whole community that we represent a diversified um, population. And so thank you for serving on a council where I'm having a full-time job. I really appreciate that. And that said, oh, where's the minute? <laughs> now I don't know how many time I have left. Uh, I'll, I'll briefly say, I, you know, when I was elected mayor last November, December, last December, and I said, I'm gonna repeat, we are here on behalf of residents on three levels, our current residents, our day residents, and our future residents. So I hope our city continue to move that way, to serve our current residents, to serve our day residents, and to welcome our future residents. So thank you. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Councilmember Chow. Hi, congratulations, Mayor Mohan and Vice Mayor Fruin. So, 
I look forward to another year uh, working with you, and uh, I hope that we continue. I think I said what I need to say earlier. I hope that we continue the model set by um, former Mayor Han Wei. Although the council procedures manual gives her the authority to call the question to stop discussion, but she rarely, rarely used that authority. And I really respect her for that. There are always people who will use the authority to shut down discussion, to not listen to people. But for, I hope that, I think I can trust uh, Mayor Mohan will also respect and give people space to discuss, to ask questions. We are here not to just vote. We are here to deliberate. To deliberate, we do need to express our opinions. So I really appreciate um, former Mayor Han Wei who has done that, and I'm looking forward to another year of open discussion and fair treatment of all council members. Um, there was another. <laughs> Okay. Um. Council Member Moore. Thank you, Mayor Mohan. And I want to thank first our outgoing mayor, um, now Council Member Way, and you truly had the fullest dance card this year. I, I think I've seen in a long time. You did make it out to a, a million a million events and you touched all the members of the community and I, I think that's a, a really important thing to do and you, you did it very well and with grace and I want to thank you for leading the meetings and um, keeping us on schedule and and moving through a lot of really difficult material um, throughout the year I want to also congratulate our new mayor Sheila Mohan and I'm looking forward to um, the new leadership style and getting to know, getting to know you in that way. Um, and also congratulations to our Vice Mayor Fruin. And I think it's going to be an exciting year this year. We have a lot to work on. Um, but I do want to circle back to um, the wish that I made. And that is that we have some very complicated items that we go over and sometimes I feel like the public doesn't get a chance to understand it as well as we do and com um, comment uh, w with as much background information so I would like to see that we make a real effort in making sure that our general plan our housing element our budget our certificates of participation and the ACFR that we make those all much more understandable for the public, that we, um, if we need to hold a study session to go through things slower so that the public can understand what's going on, that we make, the, make those steps. Okay, and with that, um, I wanna wish everybody happy holidays. I hope the room is this full for all of our meetings next year. I think that would be absolutely wonderful. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Mayor, so sorry. I there was a point I kind of forgot when I was speaking. In is it okay? I speak sure. again. Go ahead, Council Member Chow. So sorry, it was on my mind, and then I it, okay. So I was elected uh, um, because in 2014 and 15, I felt there was no transparency, and the many members of the Cupertino community feel the community engagement wasn't sufficient or genuine enough. And then as a result, as an engineer who would never get into politics, I somehow got elected to the school board and then the council. So I want to um, say, apologize in advance that I will continue to push for transparency and engagement. And that like what I have done with um, former Mayor Han Wei. And I think, I hope that in next year, when agenda is set, when we need uh, more study on the material, that's take the time 
to have study session to discuss them so that we don't put a new policy on a consent agenda because then the public doesn't even see that and then the council doesn't, didn't have time to il call, uh, deliberate. So it's a really big job to be setting agenda. I know a lot of times you have to make difficult decisions and uh, I hope that you, we are doing our best to be transparent, to engage the community and so thank you. I will sometimes have to push back because that's what I think I have to do to serve Cupertino residents who elected me to the best of my ability. And that's out, that's not out, not out of not respecting any of your decisions or any of the agenda setting process that you establish. I thank you, um, May, former Mayor Hanwei, for your service for setting the agenda. Um, and I'm looking forward uh, to another year. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I think we're done with council comments and we will move on. To the next yes, Mayor, person. I believe you have a gift to present That's to outgoing right. Mayor Way. Yes. So if Council Member Way would also come to the front of the dais. This is recognizing your services. Uh, so on behalf of the city, it is my honor to present this crystal gavel to our very honorable Hang Wei. Uh, but before I actually present it to you, <laughs> I want to express my deepest, deepest gratitude for her exemplary service to the city this past year as mayor, her dedication, her sense of responsibility, and her 24-7 commitment. I, I know People talk about 24-7, but she truly exemplifies 24-7. You send an email to her at 2 a.m., you will get a reply back at 2.02. 02. <laughs> That's how good she is. And, but most remarkable uh, uh, of all has been her genuine compassion, her genuine affection, and just her ability to steer us towards common sense solutions. So for that, I'm very grateful. She helped me a lot personally, professionally, and I'm so honored to present this to you on behalf Thank of the you, city. Thank you, Mayor Sheila. Like me, there we go. How are we going? I'm going to step up just a little bit. There we go, perfect. Thank you. You don't get this every day. May I have my council members come take a picture with me? Thank you. This is very happy. <laughs> you want to say a few words? Thank you. All right. Where do we go? Are we good? Should we should move forward? That's normal. Or if we can come forward. There you go. To the mayor, I would like to say a few words. I want to repeat what honorable is for elected officials. An honorable elected official is not a description of that person. It is a demand from all of you, from the public, for all the elected officials 
to think honorably, to say honorable words, and to vote honorably. It is actually an obligation. It is not a complimentary words. So every time we hear Honorable Mahan, Sheila Mohan, Honorable J.R. Foon, Honorable Chow, Honorable Moore, we need to think honorably, say honorable words, and make honorable decisions. So that is really a demand for us. And I take pleasure in taking that demand because I think that's what we're elected to do. And I want to say, when I send an email at 2.30 AM, I am not working. I'm doing something I love to do. So read that email next day. But don't put your email or thing on ding because one time someone called me and said, you woke me up like at 2.30 AM. So <laughs> make sure you silence your phone. So I always do what I love to do. So council work is not work for me. I'm doing something I love to do. So thank you so much for your support and for your encouragement and for all of your love. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, oh, hang on. Um, uh, I adjourned the meeting as of now. <laughs>